the where is the the week or the number of days of greatest attack? What will be our worst day, if that's possible to determine? I think that's what you're asking, right? And and how many deaths exactly are you expecting? So as you can look in the places that are the most difficult hit right now, the Detroit area, the New York area, the Louisiana area, and we are doing it by the counties in those states because there are mostly it's metro areas and the bedroom communities around those metro areas um, because people went to work and, and got exposed and came home and, and exposed other. If you look out in New York now, you see that it's in Long Island and it's out in Suffolk County and Nassau County. All of those counties, Wayne and Oakland, they're all on the upside of their curve of mortality. So you know when you get to the peak, you come down the other side. And when will that peak be? So by the predictions that are in that healthdata.org, um, they're predicting in those three hot spots, all of them hitting together in the next six to seven days. Tens of thousands of deaths in that period of time? Uh, you can go to the website. It's variable. Each one of those communities is different. But you know where New York is, how much their mortality has been. And you know what we're seeing today are the people who were infected two or three weeks ago. If mitigation in New York worked, and we believe it is working, the cases are going to start to go down, but the mortality will be a lag behind that because of the comorbidities and other conditions. So that's why all of the predictions are that this next week, and I think we said this last Sunday when we talked about the charts, um, and it's difficult to do. And we tried to prepare the American people to understand that. You have to, as much as you go up, you have to come down the other side because coming down is a reflection of the cases that were coming in before. Would you rather not say a number? I'd rather not say a number, but the numbers are available if you go to the website. I mean, you can see that there's several hundreds per day in New York. Um, and I think Governor Cuomo has talked about that increasing still into the five, six, seven hundred range a day. I keep talking about hydroxychloroquine. Is that the question that nobody ever asks, and the question that I most hate the answer to, is what happens if you do have a ventilator? What are your chances? And I just hope that hydroxychloroquine wins coupled with perhaps the z pack as we call it, dependent totally on your doctors and the doctors there. Because you know the answer to that question. If you do have the ventilator, you know the answer to that question. And I hate giving the answer. So I don't want to get them there. I don't want to get them there. Uh, there's a possibility, a possibility. And I say it. What do you have to lose? I'll say it again. What do you have to lose? Take it. I really think they should take it. But it's their choice, and it's their doctor's choice or the doctors in the hospital. But hydroxychloroquine, try it if you'd like. The other thing, if you have a heart condition, I understand, probably you stay away from the z -Pack. But that's an antibiotic. It can clean out the lungs. The lungs are a point of attack for this horrible virus. But when you have a ventilator, don't ask the answer, because I hate it. If you have it, and it's working beautifully, I don't like the answer, because it's not a very high percentage. So I want to keep them out of ventilators. I want to keep them, if, we, if this drug works, it will be not a game changer, because that's not a nice enough term. It will be wonderful. It'll be so beautiful. It'll be a gift from heaven if it works. Because when people go into those ventilators, you know the answers, I know the answers, and I'm glad you don't write about it. Uh, Mike, please. It's going to be a difficult week for the American people. You will see testing 
increased around the country, and so cases are going to continue to rise across America. And before I give a few facts relevant to an earlier question about ventilators, let me just — let me add my voice to what the President just said and what all the physicians who've spoken have said. Even though uh, we see the losses rising in the days ahead, do not be discouraged, because there is evidence across the country that Americans have been putting the social distancing and mitigation into practice, and it is making a difference.